Mortal Kombat 1 just released a patch out of nowhere, buffing Takeda. Some cameo fighters also got some crazy buffs here. We see Frost and Tremor getting some love and Farah getting nerfed. Thank the Lord. All right, so the first thing I did when I jumped in uh, to check out these buffs for Takeda was I wanted to see, you know, NRS has a, a, a really big thing of just doing silent nerfs and, and, and just toning stuff down without even putting it in the patch notes. So we jumped in to make sure his damage was okay, you know? And rest assured, Takeda's damage is still really insane. He's still hitting his, uh, his regular big fat BMBs. Now, the changes with this character is his kunai. Now, Takeda's shooting star, which used to be a mid, is now a low. And this is huge because, you know, you can throw these suckers in the air. They have a really good range. You can kind of get a full screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you jump high enough, you can get a full screen. So, you know, the jump in pressure from Takeda is going to be real juicy. If you're going to be going in for a jump in, some opponents are going to be looking for an anti-air or an up block. You know, this game does offer a lot of ways to get your opponent out of the air. So being able to just jump in and throw one of those low kunais, catch them big slipping. I feel like it's going to be really juicy in his uh, in his overall game plan. Uh, the EX version is still a mid, but uh, if you get Ella plus frames if your opponent doesn't jump them. Because you can jump any string into EX Kunai, but they still left it a mid, but you're still getting ridiculous plus frames. Now the biggest, one of the biggest changes, his back forward three. I think they call this move the Swift Stride. Previously, before these buffs, his Swift Stride used to suck so bad. You would do it and it would get blown up by everything. But they ended up increasing the armor frames by 10. So let me show you guys what exactly that means. We're going to go over here, control uh, Ermac. We're going to go to opponent type and we're just going to put reversal on. Uh, reversal attack, enhance Swift Stride. So, just like an example, pre-patch, before these buffs, uh, Ermac can do simple cancel pressure like this. And for some reason, since the armor had, like, the worst active frames ever, he, Takeda would get blown up. But now, he actually has an armor to deal with some kind of pressures. That traded. I mean, if the Ermac player is fast with it, you could probably blow it up still. So it, it isn't the greatest armor. You know, characters that do have fast hitting normals uh, can really stagger you into oblivion. I feel like this armor is still going to be a problem, but, you know, stuff like they try to do anything like that or, or, or say Ashra tries to hit you with one of her very slow normals that has crazy range, you can armor out of it. Here's the thing that's super juicy about this uh, armored move now. Um, so let's go ahead and let's record. Let's put us full screen and let's record Katana to throw a couple fans, right? Let's record Katana to throw a couple fans. Check this out. Check this out. You can actually armor through projectiles. So, you basically can't zone Takeda. <laughs> you basically can't zone Takeda. It goes through projectiles. It can take the armor now. On reaction, you see a projectile from full screen. You're in there and you're doing what Takeda needs to do, which is be in the opponent's face so you can dish out that heavy dookie damage and now what i was talking about as well when i mentioned that he kind of got a nerf that swift stride if you hold up on it um you used to pull up behind your opponent for an overhead so now they made his uh his swift stride a mid now i think the reason they did that was because since they you know affected the armor a bit they, they probably thought it'd be too strong if he had the armor and then he, he hit you with an overhead as well. Uh, let me see something really fast. Okay, so basically, uh, basically you cannot, if, if it trades with an attack, you can't get the, uh, the up option. 
So I don't know why the hell they made that a mid. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't know why they made it a mid. Because uh, I, I really do think that that should have just stayed overhead. I don't know why they made this a mid. I really don't. But that, I think that's a, that's a nerf. That's definitely a nerf to Takeda. But yeah, no, I think uh, with these changes alone, this makes Takeda a very formidable character now. You know, he's super strong. His damage is, is through the roof. Um, I feel like you can't have everything, right? You definitely can't have everything in these games. And that's kind of what Takeda is. His main focus is definitely offense. You could definitely play uh, some really juicy keep away and stuff like that. And then uh, for Farah, she used to give all the characters like an additional 150 HP, but I think they nerfed that. So let's go ahead, throw on Farah. I haven't even seen this for myself. Let's go ahead, throw on Farah. Wow! Oh, wow! Farah's only giving you an additional 50 HP. I'm glad the developers, you know, realized that was a little overboard. So now... Takeda Farah, which used to be uh, 1,150, is now 1,050. That is beautiful. Beautiful to see. And then it says the uh, the Frost cameo, slightly reduced main fighter recovery after Snowflake cancel. It's that ball, right? That's the snow... Oh my god, wait a second. Wait a second. Recovery 10 frames? You can throw this out? Oh, no. That is Snowflake, right? Oh, God, that's going to be scary. You recover way faster than before, I feel. All right, and then apparently they uh, they reduced the recharge delay by 120 and slightly increased recharge rate after Snowflakes. And Frost now exits playfield 15 frames sooner. So they really made this move right here just a lot scarier. Yeah, she, like, it is recharging instantly, and it's definitely something you can just throw out there to put that pressure. I mean, hell, I, I feel like even Takeda Frost could be dangerous if you did stuff like this. Back two into Snowflake. <laughs> You're gonna catch your opponent big slipping like a snowflake. Some juicy stuff. I really do think uh, Frost could be very viable now. And then Tremor. It says, slightly increased recharge rate after Rolling Rock, Transmute Ground Pound, and transmute a lava burst. All right. Oh yeah, no, it's recharging faster for sure. Cause that was the uh, that was the low rock. Yeah, Tremor's recharging faster now. This this can oh he definitely got buffed. Look at that recharge rate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Some of them didn't get buffed, though. That definitely got a buff, because that is recharging super fast. That is recharging super fast. Uh... Yeah, wow. Tremor's recharge rate is juicy now. I mean, I never really played this character, but I'm definitely thinking about using him for sure, because... That is juicy. Ryko Tremors are going to be having a field day. Well, yeah, there you have it. I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing this new patch. I'm excited to hop in and, and, and play the game for sure. Uh, listen, do me the biggest favor. Slap a slap a do me the biggest favor. Slap that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy this content. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Slap that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day. So come and say hi.